autumn is definitely here. Hi everybody. It is full-fledged autumn. The winds are starting to blow. The leaves are gorgeous. We've been having a really beautiful autumn this year, but there's something about autumn. <laughs> there's something that happens after autumn and it starts with a W. It's the W word and it is winter. And what happens in winter? It gets very, very cold up here in the Northeast, up here near the Adirondacks and especially cold if you happen to be camping in a vehicle. And today I'm going to be talking about the one heating system that I finally settled on above all the other heating systems and exactly why I chose it. And I'm going to show you how it was installed. I'm going to show you how it works and we're all going to be warm and toasty. <laughs> The heating systems that I have tried and were recommended to me just did not work at all. The first one was a propane heater. It did not have a flame. It was about this big. It seemed like it would really be good in a van. It had it was almost like a Brillo pad and the Brillo pad would heat up and just sort of be hot. There was no fan. There was nothing. But it was connected to a propane tank that you would have to either carry in your van or place outside your van. And I really didn't feel safe with that. And also uh, propane would use up oxygen in your van. So you have to be sure that you have a certain amount of air coming in to balance out the oxygen that it uses to burn. And also propane creates moisture. So you can, there would be moisture or mold or dampness in your van. Another form of heating that was suggested to me that I rejected was a generator. To get a gasoline generator, they have them very small, very nice, compact, wonderful generators these days. You would still need to use gasoline. There would still probably be a flame. Uh, the advantage was that you would take any store-bought heating pro uh, heater and plug it right into the generator. It, it, you know, on paper it sounds good, but where are you going to put the generator? It has noise to it, the, the motor. You, if you place it outside your van and you happen to be camping somewhere, um, if you're camping, let's say, at a, at a parking lot type situation, you, you can't just put your generator out on the parking lot. So that wasn't going to work either. Another solution is to have a solar panel that connects to a battery and then you plug in your heater to that battery. I do not have super powerful solar panel. I do have one that goes to my battery pack, which is a Jackery brand battery pack, which you'll see more of in a minute. Um, I was not, that seemed like a very big, um, you would have to wire everything and it, yeah, it just, uh, that was too complex and I really thought it was going to be too expensive to do something like that. The heater that I finally chose is the Webasto Airtop 2000 STC for petrol or gasoline. It is not for diesel. There in the depth of the box is the heater. That part, I don't know if that would be the exhaust or the heat. And then there's this side. That's probably where the heat blows out. In the second box is this incredible collection of pipes and tubes and wires and all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh, it's the gas tank. <laughs> this is the mastermind, Kyle, Hi. here at East Coast Van Life. 
They're doing a great job. After deciding the final location of the heater to be on the passenger side of the van in the kitchen area, here it is, finally installed on the floor. And the wiring goes up like this. And this is the switch right here that you turn it on with. There is no flame in this heater. It's a heating coil that is ignited by an electronic stick. And the electronic stick heats up very hot. That electronic stick is what uses most of the wattage from the battery. It's only about 90 seconds though. This is the battery that I have. It's a Jackery brand battery. It's 500 watts and it has 12 volts or regular plug-in. It has USB. This is where you recharge it. When you turn this on it displays all the different wattage and things like that. The Webasto heater is a 12 volt heater which is good because it will use less energy. I'm going to start the heater and we can watch the wattages. That is this one right here. The general running of the heater is between 15 and 20 watts. However, igniting that electronic stick is about 60 watts. Let's turn the heater on. The arrow turns green. There is a thermostat on this. I'm going to put it about halfway. The fan has started. Let's take a look at the battery. So this number here, 6566, that is the electronic stick lighting the coil and the fuel pump. That will soon drop down to about 30 and then finally down into the teens. We're up into the 70s and possibly 80s. It's a little disturbing to watch this because you know it's your wattage that's going down. I tend to watch the percentage dial more. Okay, here we drop down to 18 watts. That is probably supporting the fan and possibly the fuel pump. So here is the beautiful heat coming out here. It's just wonderful, very comfortable. This unit supposedly uses one gallon of gasoline for 10 hours of heat. So it's very economical. I would say the heat is a little dry, just like in a house, and I can see if you were to be in here for hours with it on, that it might be drying, in which case you would want some sort of humidity solution. This is the noise level standing up. I'm standing up fully straight, and the camera is about at my rib cage right now. It is definitely a sound, but I don't find it disturbing. This tube can be bent into the shape that you want. It can, it can point upwards, it can go left, right, whatever you like. This is a wire coil in there. Here's the thermometer. It's above 70 in here right now. It looks like almost 75. Outside is blustery and probably 50 degrees. So the heater is making it nice and toasty in here. Well, it's getting pretty warm in here, so I think I'm going to turn the heater off. I simply need to turn the dial this way. One thing that I was told, and I want to tell you too, you have to leave your heater plugged into your battery until it cools down. So even though we've turned it off, this fan will keep going until the heater is completely cool, until the air that comes out of here is completely cool. I would like to make an important note to tell you while I use this heater, that I use a carbon monoxide and smoke detector. You place it up high. I also have a fire extinguisher, which I highly recommend as well. Be sure you get the kind that is appropriate for what you're using. There's all different types of fire extinguishers. So before I go, I just wanted to tell you some of the disappointments with this heater. 
I would say mostly, I would say 80%, I'm really, really happy with it. Some of the disappointments are there's an exhaust. There's an exhaust pipe that goes out. That exhaust pipe, uh, the noise of the heater rumbles out of the exhaust pipe. So if you're in, again, in a parking location or maybe you're parked at, near someone's house, there, that is kind of noisy. They have mufflers that go on those exhaust pipes. However, I was reading that it restricts the airflow. It, it pushes against the airflow to the exhaust and it, it builds up, makes your, your heater dirty. And then of course the other drawback was the battery power that it required. Otherwise, I think this is a very good heating system. It feels really safe. It feels very well built. It is a little pricey, but if you stretch it across, maybe the number of years that you might have your van, uh, you might, you know, break it down into annual cost. I think you could probably remove it. Yeah, you could remove it and put it in a new van if you got another van. I would like to give a big thank you out to Kyle Shepard from East Coast Van Life in Canandaigua, New York. If you have any sort of van or camping uh, type of things that you want to do, he's the guy. He does interiors, floors, cabinets, all sorts of things, and he installed this heater beautifully and without a flaw. I hope this video helped you decide what kind of heater you might want in your vehicle, and I wish you luck and I'd love to hear all about your choices or your comments or experiences about heaters or even about this heater in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe the video. And if you want, join my Patreon page to help support my work, patreon.com backslash Cosby Gibson.